Welcome back to Sunless Sea. At the moment, I want to continue doing the Salt Lion's trade route until that reaches the end. And then after that, assuming I'm still alive, I think I want to do the Venturer's... Desires. Want to get him some Zoop and some Muter Salt from the north. Because both of these things can apparently be acquired from the north, and it makes a pretty damn good excuse to go up there. So for now, let's just go do the salt lines and see what happens. Now, I can't remember how many loads I was able to deliver before of Sphinx Stone before this special story event happened. It was either the third or the fourth load, and I can't remember which. But I have a feeling it's going to happen on this one. Might as well take a stop at Demu Island. Yeah, so I'm going to be presented with the option to go deliver it to the Grand Geode, I'm assuming. Or, if I refuse that, I can take it to the other person. To whatever the other person wanted me to take it to. And I don't remember what that was. But, I might actually do the other option, just to see what happens. Port report. And... Ooh, you know what? Yeah, let's go, let's go ahead and just get up to ten Zaylers. Let's do it. Ah. I feel much more calm just having ten Zaylers. I'm very sensitive about my Zaylers now. Ooh, I just saw the trail of a boat, I think. Hello? Hello? Oh, no. No, 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 it's a jelly floor. That ain't no boat. Unless boats have suddenly become gelatinous in the Untersea, which wouldn't surprise me. Well, it lets me do one more, um, it lets me take it again. So maybe I could actually do another one? Perhaps. <laughs> do I want to do the salt rights? I really can't remember what that did. Well, let's visit the Unmakers, I suppose. I should probably look into what it takes to actually make a will. Because I would like to leave something more onto my... my descendant. More than half my money. I'd especially like to leave my engine, because this thing's worth a thousand. It's pretty costly.
Hmm, should I stop here? Because I'm wondering if my... What, what, what is this thing even called? My something awaits you in port thing. I'm wondering if that's going to regenerate by the time I get back to London. But then again, do I actually need it to regenerate? Hmm, not really. Let's have some tea with a factor. I believe I did this before. Air is thick with hovering spores. The scones are stale. Uh, yeah, yeah. I read this before. Even the tea has a hint of mildew. Ugh. Wait a minute. You've been told of an exceptionally fine restaurant in Vendor Bite. Have I? Hold on. Does he actually say something about it here specifically? I don't remember this. Um, he shares odd stories about the... Ice and Roses of Aram, the monstrosities of the Sea of Lilies, and a little restaurant in Venderbite where he enjoyed the most extraordinary seafood. Venderbite? I know. I'd never met a tomb colonist who could cook. But you must visit the place. Do you know it? Hmm. Interesting. I just assumed the tomb colonists ate dust. Go ahead and use our recent news to reduce our terror by five. Morning paper, lost a little bit of terror. Uh, yeah, let's check out the will. Write a will. Okay, so it costs 200 echo and... Oh, right, you have to have fancier lodgings. So the cheapest one would be the elegant townhouse, which itself costs a thousand. Yeah, so that's not going to happen for a while. Alright, let's see if this is where it ends. Um, no? Another successful delivery. Cool. Oh, the next one, look at this, Deliver Sphinxstone 2. So the next one is going to be the special one. Oh, wait a minute. Um, should I purchase fuel? What am I at? 19 to 40? Yeah. I guess I should... Pr yeah, I should probably purchase a couple. Alright, so one more load of Sphinx Stone, and then something is going to happen. It's probably going to be another mad dash to a very strange place on the map that's extremely dangerous.
I'm trying to just really appreciate this moment. This is one of the rare moments of actual comfortable, um, well, it's not really exploring because I kind, of, I kind of already know it's here. I guess comfortable traveling? I know where I'm going. There's very little danger. I know exactly what's going to happen. I'm just sitting, sitting around collecting money. It's very comfortable, which is not how most of the game is. So, gotta appreciate the more calm times. Let's see, should I have tea with the factor again or explore the island? Let's have tea again. I have once again been told of an exceptionally fine restaurant in Venderbite. I believe he has very bad memory. This factor. I really feel like killing that thing because it annoys me, but... No. It's not worth it. Those things can turn on a dime. Or an echo. What does an echo actually look like? I wonder. What does the currency actually look like? Is it paper? Coins? Is it literally an echo? Do you open up your wallet and you just hear, like, reverberating sound waves? It just says... Just open it up and it says, Money, 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 money. Oh, right, I haven't quite gotten another day. That's weird, I got one, like, right before I got here before, but this time I didn't. Hmm. Maybe the game recognizes that I'm doing the same route back and forth and is like, nah, I'm not gonna reward you for that.
recommend my reports. There you go. Give me a little bit of fuel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get down to business. Deliver the Sphinx Stone to... Hello again! So last time I accepted, but this time I want to change things up. Let's refuse. Those bright, bright eyes. The unmistakable mark of the Dawn Machine. None understand the Dawn Machine, but all fear it. Who knows what its motives are? Or hers? A bright and brittle smile. I'm not an admirer of progress, I see. Well then, keep your stone. Keep your memories. None so blind as those who will not rise. By the way, I should also kind of uh, mention that I am lightly role-playing as Joshua York, who is a vampire. And I, just judging by the name itself, I would say the Dawn Machine is supposed to bring light to the Untersey. So you can imagine that wouldn't be a great thing for a vampire. So I really don't want the Dawn Machine to succeed. Or Joshua's going to turn rather crispy. Hey, wait, what? There's... There's two events here for the same person. Or wait, are they the same person? So, so this is the guy that talks to you after you talk to her. But there's two of them. They both see a dusty gentleman, but the text is different, and one does not have the Sphinx Stone. She gave you an errand, didn't she? Captain, a moment you turned her down, didn't you? That was wise. I have a proposal of my own. I have a counter-proposal. Will you listen? I'm confused. I don't know why these are separate, because they seem almost exactly the same. Hmm. Well, let's do the top one, because that one actually requires the Sphinx Stone that I have, so... Maybe it's better? I don't know. Alright, I think he's going to make me the same offer that he did before. Uh, yeah. The bazaar has been feasting on old memories from the Salt Lions. It only makes her more melancholy, and that's worse for all of us. So we found another use for the Sphinx Stone. We can set something right. Yeah, so this is why I didn't want to do it before. Because of this. If you've already arranged with a bright-eyed sequencer to take it to the Grand Geode, this will cause you to renege. But this time I did not accept, so I'm not going to be reneging. So, <laughs> I'm going to accept to take it far away. We'll tell you where you will be paid. Alright, sure. I'm grateful. Here. He presses a crumpled note into your hand. This is where you should take it. You'll learn something, I think. I had to seek the Master's help for this. We will all be enmeshed in their plans, but it's worth it. I swear it's worth it. He grips your arm and is gone. You unfold the note. Deliver the Sphinx Stone to Adam's Way in the south where the replete, oh, replete wait. Oh no, it's in the south. That's exactly where the Grand Geode was. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be going north this episode. Because I have to do this, like, I can't I can't go doing something else, because I have the Sphinx Stone cluttering up my hold. I gotta do it. Adam's way in the south. That's so vague. The south. That is so incredibly vague. Look. Look. This is the south. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. This is gonna get me killed, isn't it? <sighs> Alright, I need to... I need to fill my hold with lots of stuff, although I can't fit that much stuff because I have the freaking Sphinx Stone. Ugh. Alright. Fuel and supplies. Aside from that, is there anything I can buy to help me? I can buy a Radis Faber assistant. Hmm. 
Not sure how that works. Like, is it just free repairs? Does that mean you'd never would need to go to a... Like, go to London to have your hole repaired ever, because you could just keep using that? It seems too good to be true. Is it a consumable? I don't know why an assistant would be a consumable, but... Nah, it says countdown three seconds, so there's no way it's a consumable. I don't know. Let's see, maybe I should spend some secrets. Hello! How many secrets do I have? Four? My iron's 36. Wouldn't mind increasing it. Uh... Wait, what in the hell did you just do? A little explosion. Oh, my word, we need to... Uh, sorry about that. There, that's out. Uh, only smoke. Look at the... Uh, there's... All's well that ends well. And in the end, all manner of things shall be well. Well, I gained two iron for one secret, which is actually really good, and some fragments. But I lost four whole. Alright, I guess that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, having, um, getting an increase of two iron per secret is actually really good, because normally you just get an increase of one, right? You spend one secret and you get one point in something. So that's actually really good. And, uh, what else can we do with this guy? Invite the cannoneer to dine with you. What's that cost? Five supplies. Hmm. And I need five torpedo components. And ten fuel. Hmm. What would this do? Given how much this takes, I feel like it's going to do something special. I'm really curious, and I am about to do something incredibly dangerous by going down south, so you know what? Who cares? Let's do it. So I need four torpedo components. I got the money. Let's experiment. It's probably going to blow up my damn boat. Flowers of Flame. The Cannoneer has found a way to calibrate your weapons for additional death and explosions. When the smoke clears, however, it is impossible to de deny that the risk and expense of most of his tricks is a little too great. Only a couple of minor modifications are safe to use. But do you know, the Cannoneer says, squinting thoughtfully, it reminds me of a story. The Iron and Misery Company were testing something. Destroyed one of their outlying stations. Destroyed it to bits. If you can find me the prototype, I can make it work for us. Can you take me to Demo Island? I used to know the factor there. He might talk. Ooh! I do, it's actually very close. Gain fragments, gain a little bit of iron. Travel to, to Demo Island. Demo? And of course I lost the stuff that I knew I would lose. The supplies, the fuel. A prototype. I am very intrigued. Alright, so I need to buy stuff to replace everything that I just used up. Which is honestly not that expensive. It was 100 Echo for the fuel. Um, it was like 150 to 200 Echo. A actually, that was kind of expensive. It's fine. And then I read the papers, right? Mm-hmm. Deliver the reports. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. I just hope whatever this prototype... Uh, I'm assuming it's a weapon. I'm hoping whatever this prototype weapon is, I can actually use it. Because I don't have all the spaces on my ship. I'm missing my forward and my aft.
much damage do I do now? 18 and 24? Okay. That sounds like the demographic of MTV. Might as well get a port report. Sure, why not? Okay, bargain with the Factor for a secret. The irrepressible, irrepressible cannoneer is convinced that the Factor knows more about a weapon. The company's terrible prototype. You'll need a bribe. It's only fair. Oh god, 200 more Echo? This is turning out rather expensive, but... If it costs this much to do, it's gotta be something good, right? Right. A shared and sordid past. Even with the bribe, the Factor is reluctant to talk. But it seems the Cannoneer knew him in the old days. And he's even more reluctant to have the Cannoneer talk about the old days. Finally, he gives in. It was a place called Astival. Do you know it? It's, mm, a striking place. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. It's east. A long way east. We took it off all the maps. Not that maps last at Z anyway. That's all I know. Now, shall we let the past lie where it fell? Aestavel in the east. Okay, that's not going to happen anytime soon. I'm going to write that down, though, just in case it doesn't show up. Hold on, is it going to show up? Oh god, it disappeared. Um, is it going to show up in my journal? Oh yeah, it does. There it is. Aestavel in the east. Interesting. This is such a long kind of storyline to follow. It's got to lead to something really good. But yeah, I just can't follow it right now. Ain't gonna happen. And, um... I don't even remember what I'm supposed to get for my father's bone quest. I, I needed to get some sort of supply. What was it? Does it say somewhere here? I mean, this doesn't say, does it? No. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, Shintlik. Although, it doesn't tell me how many she wants. I hate that. Come on, how many does she want? Oh, well. Gonna be going back to London anyway for supplies before I head down south, so... I think I'll just write down how much I need. I almost want to pay a hundred echo just to get my hold to a hundred percent, but it's at 69. That'd be such a waste. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. It's not worth it.
I suppose we could hire a new officer. Do have a couple slots. Do the port report. And, oh, no officers here. Only Zaylers. Hmm. Alright, so how many did you want? Oh, just one Skintalac. Or Sintalac, whatever it is. One times Sintalac. Just writing that down so I actually know. Alright, how much space do I have? Three slots. What should I get? Supplies or fuel? The thing is, I can't really... It's easier to get supplies because there's often bats and uh, crabs to kill. I can get fuel from pirate ships, but I'm probably not going to find very many. Yeah, that should be fine. 13-7. Alright, here we go down south. Looking for... Good question, what are we looking for? What's the place called? I find this journal very annoying to read. It's like stuff just strewn everywhere. Wasn't it like Adam's Way or something? I don't know. It has Adam in the name and it's somewhere down south. And this is a dead end. It's a good start to the journey. Oh god, we're so gonna die. I mean, look lively, Zaylers. I'm hoping I can actually find some weak pirate ships and crabs on the way, just to replenish my supplies. Ooh, here we go. And perfect timing, almost full hunger. Okay, should I stay really close to the shore? I probably should. Cuban Canal, some distance to the southwest, okay, so that seems like it's still in roughly the same position that it was before. Let's discover this thing again, get the fragments. Two of them. Oh, it's not dead. Shit. I just assumed it was dead. I didn't even look. Let's just dissect this one. One fragment? Probably not worth it. I don't know, one fragment just seems like nothing when you need like... 250 or something just to level up and get one more secret.
Let's listen for gossip. Another move in the great game. Port report. And maybe I should buy some fuel. It's really expensive though, and I might find that hellishly hot place if I keep going down where the fuel is really cheap. Nah, let's not risk it. Oh yeah, the Iron Republic is down there. I believe that thing was also roughly in the same position. Once again, let's give it a wide berth. I wonder what would actually happen if you went into it. I feel like you would just simply die. Unfinished revolutionaries. A crew of 20 and 210 hit points. Oh my. Oh my. 400. Um, yeah, I don't want to increase my terror, so no thanks. Let's compile a port report. Gained a tale of terror. Memory of distant shores. And the Parliament Parliament of Flies is now open for business. Let's visit the Parliament of Flies. Parabola Linen, 57. Let's see, it sells for, what, 50? Well, it doesn't even matter what it sells for, I can't hold it. I don't have the room. I think it actually sells for more than 50, doesn't it? Isn't it like 75? I think it's the spider silk that sells for 50. Hmm, I'm not sure. There's a Shintalak, but they don't have any. Alright, let's keep going. Although I really want these ships to move out of the way, or I'm not going to be able to stay near the, near the coast. Let's go slow. It's still right there. Yeah, there it is. Doing circles. I'm gonna have to go east. Oh, or wait. No, is it still doing circles? Yeah, it's still doing circles. Alright. We're going east and then south. Whoa. There's no way I'm in range. And my lights are off, too. Come on. Don't scare me like that. No islands. I would turn on my lights, but uh, I'm worried about fuel. No islands. Should I go back to the coast? <laughs> and there's the Grand Geode. God damn it, I should have taken that. 
Alright, well, I guess we might as well visit. Do you think I should inform them that I agreed to take this, uh, Sphinx Stone to their enemies or whatever they are? Probably not. Also, there's some snowy beast around here, apparently. It's the Shining Ships. Probably gonna travel slowly in this snow. Report. Ask to speak to somebody in authority. Commodore may be able to give you a few minutes. I'm not sure if I read this before. The Commodore shakes your hand warmly. He's a handsome, open-faced fellow in an immaculate navy uniform. His office is equally handsome. It overlooks the glittering interior crystal cliff. It must be as well lit as any study in the Neath. He deflects questions about the purpose of this installation. Classified, you know. But Smiling offers you tea, biscuits, and mineralogical anecdotes. I love mineralogical anecdotes. No shops. Alright, let's go. I'm not sure if I want to head south. Not with that snowstorm down there. Let's see, I'm going to kind of skirt around the edge here. Ooh, here's something. Massive mushrooms. The funging station would love this place. Hello. There's definitely people here. I'm just not getting out of my Z-Bat, though. My Z-Bat must be faulty. Stop picking up the transmissions. There are no islands. Well, I guess that's technically true. I mean, this isn't an island. As far as I can tell. Alright, I have never been here. Port Canelian. Fallen London's sole imperial possession. Treasure it. London's first undersea colony sweats under a blanket of southern heat. To the right of the dock, the sapphire mines yawn. To the left, the governor's house stands prim as an Elderwick mansion. Behind lies the fungal... <laughs> That's really fun to say. Fungal jungle. Oh yeah. Behind lies the fungal jungle. That should be a song. Ghostly in white and violet. Hmm. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff I can do here. It looks like I can only do one of these. Because it looks like they're going to give me a port report, and then I don't think I'll be able to do it anymore once I have my port report. Insinuate an agent into the port? Influence affairs? Interesting. <laughs> Pan for sapphires in the fungal jungle. No thanks. Well, I can visit the tea shop. Uh, hold on, let's see what they sell. Ooh, interesting. So their fuel is more expensive than in London, but their supplies are actually cheaper. Supplies cost 20 in London, and here they cost 18. So supplies cost 2 less, and fuel costs 2 more. Those are some really cheap coffee beans. Mountain Sherd. This was struck from the side of the Mountain of Light, who is the god called Stone. It is holy. Treat it accordingly. If you don't treat it as holy, it can still be sold as a captivating treasure. <laughs> so 
Some cool stuff here. Okay, let's uh, visit the tea shop. See what's going on. Home away from home. They import the doilies from London. But the tea is local. Blue and smoky. The crumpets are warm. The tablecloth's white. You could almost imagine you were back in Vale Garden. Except for the tiger lounging on a... On a divan. Whatever. Whatever the heck that is. It laps tea from an Azor bull and complains about the recent nostalgic trend in poetry. I'm sorry, what? Let me read that again to make sure I read it correctly. There's a tiger lounging on a divan, and it's drinking tea from an Azor bowl, and it's complaining about the recent nostalgic trend in poetry. I can't tell if they're just fucking with me, or if they, if they mean that this tiger literally can speak. I, I don't even know. Okay, so which of these three things do I want to do? Call at the something house where the governor administrators uh, administers this distant fleck of Her Majesty's empire. Talk to a tiger in the blue bazaar. I think I want to talk to them. Because apparently they do actually speak. Or call it a room about a, above a bookshop. Let's speak to a tiger. Trouble abroad. The Blue Bazaar is Port Canelian's great indoor market. Arched, lofty, and plush with patterned carpets where the vendors display their wares. Most of all, awash with gossip. The tiger's well informed. A black holed canite trireem prowled the coast last night. A rifle shot from shore. Shipments from the sapphire mines have slowed. The governor's aid was left handed on Tuesday and right handed on Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's very important tactical information that I'll make sure to give back to the Admiralty. And that would seem to be it for now. Okay, let's restock. Yeah, that should be fine. Now the question is, I'm supposed to look in the south, so should I continue along the coast, or... I mean, the south could include, like, the open ocean around here. I'm just gonna go along the coast, because it's a hell of a lot safer. Oh my god. 400 hit points! That ain't no jelly floor, that's a jellyfish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe it's not safer. That thing could swallow me up in one bite. Look at these fungal... Look at the fungal jungle. Crying Heights. Sounds like an uplifting, cheery place. Hmm, what is this? Almost looks like a sandstorm. This looks like a dam or something. Oh yeah, I'm slowed by the by the storm. There we go. Just got out of it. Andromeda's rocks. That sounds really cool. Makes me think of the Andromeda strain. What the fuck is that? 
Something that flies look like a giant moth. I'm going the other way. Goodbye. Where is the port? Eh. Uh, there isn't one. But it listed this as an island. Surely it wouldn't list a place that didn't have a port, would it? And is the flying beast gonna block my exit? Let's see where the Z-Bat says to go. Oh, nothing. Oh. I wanna see its hit points. Come on. What's your hit points? 500! Yeah, Tyrant Moth. No thanks. My terror is going up really fast. God damn, I don't like being down here because I can't fight anything. <laughs> Nothing I see can I fight. It all would destroy me in an instant. Here somewhere. Adam's Way! Holy shit, I found Adam's Way! I think this is it. Thank God. I don't know if this is... Is this Adam's Way? It is! Oh! That is wonderful feeling. <laughs> it could have been a really long time until I found it. And I'd be stuck with the burden of the Sphinx Stone forever. Okay. On a bed of monumental ruins, warehouses, and way stations of Shroom Timber Rise. All ships that approach Adam's Way are intercepted by the Gracious, the Presbyterates' splendidly head-dressed coast guards. A quaint but inviolable... Yeah, that's the word. Inviolable tradition governs entry. You must tell them one of three stories. In return, you'll be permitted to spend a single day in the port. Oh. Well, I don't have that. Then I don't have that. Thank God I had recent news. Oh my God. <laughs> Could it have been that if I... If I didn't have recent news, would I have come all this way? Only to not be able to deliver my Sphinx Stone because I didn't have any recent news? I would have been so freaking pissed. I would have just driven straight into that... that mammoth moth and just said, just take me, I'm done. A new day. Is their interest strategic? Or do they just enjoy hearing about London's miseries? Regardless, they permit you to dock. The day has just begun. In the town square, a yellow-robed priestess plants a seed in a bed of black soil. No sooner has she patted down the soil than a tiny shoot pokes forth. By mid-morning, it will be a sapling. By lunchtime, a budding tree. By the evening's end, it will wither and fall. You must be back on your ship before then. Huh? The tree of a single day is a hopeful sapling, green and budding. What in the hell? Okay. Does time pass faster here? If I stay longer than a day, will I wither like the tree? The options available may change as the day progresses. This place seems to have a strange relationship with time. Okay, well, since things may change, I want to get the Sphinx Stone out of the way right away. So, let's do it. Oh yeah, it even says, Unlocked with the tree of a single day, no more than four. So I guess I get four options? I can do four things before the tree becomes too grown. A tilted temple squats in the shade of a gumheart shroom. This is where Penstock sent you. Your Zaylers drag the stones, complaining as Zaylers generally do. 
Please, for God's sake, take them. Thank you. The Temple of the Mountain's Mother. The priestesses wear bizarre black. Her eyes are lost in the snaking coils of her hair. The altar is here, she intones. She holds out a bag of coins to you and points to the floor. Yes, that block. Place it here. Put the others in the sea. Only one is worthy. A trial of blocks. A sacrifice of stones. How quaint. Then the priestess leans over to whisper the reason for it. The birth, the heart, the chain. Your head spins. You stagger outside to recover. The door slams shut. Fortunately, you hung onto your coins. Only one stone is worthy? What? I gained a mirror and a secret. The tree of a single day is tall and strong. Its branches stretch over the rooftops. And a thousand echo. Sweet. Alright, I dumped my burden, which means I really want to get back to London now. I'm hanging around the big boys right now, down south, and I'm just a little tiny kid. I don't belong, so I want to leave, but uh, might as well make use of our st- oh, m maybe I can't. That's it? I used up my entire day just doing that? I guess. Well, shit. Why are foreigners only allowed to spend a single day in Adam's way? For your own protection, one of them explains kindly. I don't doubt that. I don't think I want to stay here. Unsafe. The soil of the Elder Continent is dangerous to incomers, they claim. Those who linger can contract unfortunate conditions. Hysteria, rapture, animescence. An animescence? I'm not entirely sure what that is. And the rumors that presbyterate law offers no protection to foreigners after dark? Errant nonsense. Mm hmm. Alright, so if I ever intend to come back here, I need to bring recent news. Because. These other ones seem rather hard. Like, I don't remember ever getting an unfinished, uh, an unread log. And a port report from Mount Palmerston is a rather strangely pacific, uh, specific thing. <laughs> Wait a minute. The sign at the door reads, Licensed for Mortal Trade. Okay. Cool. There's nothing interesting here, and to be honest, all this stuff is actually cheaper back at... Back at here. So... Yeah, I'm just not gonna buy anything. Alright, let's get back to here, restock, and then call it a day. And then, the ne and then in the next episode, I'm gonna attempt to actually get back to London and hopefully head north, which is what I originally intended to do. Should be able to get back comfortably with my current, current supplies. I'm scared about my terror increasing so much, so I'm actually going to turn on my lights. Just worried about that beastly moth. Where are you? I know it's around here. And as soon as I see it, I'm turning off my lights, because otherwise it might see me. Oh. Oh god. Oh. I'm rather close to it. Okay. We're good. Would the moth actually want to attack me? I mean, moths aren't normally violent. But then again, crabs aren't normally violent. slow down here, going through the dust storm. Or... 
Maybe not. No, we're good. We're good, I guess. Back to safety. Well, moderate safety. There's still random boats with like 400 hit points hanging around here. Since I still have my port report, there's not much I can do here other than pan for sapphires in the fungal jungle. 31% chance of success, no thanks. Some more tea, no thanks. Just purchase some supplies. Oh yeah, I guess I can purchase as much as I want, huh? Because I don't have the Sphinx Stone anymore. Hmm... I wish I knew what these sacks of coffee beans went for back at London. Because I might want to buy a bunch of them. I just don't remember. So, I'm not going to risk it. Actually, hold on. How close is the place that has cheaper fuel? You know, the Iron Republic is actually really close. I'm going to be heading up back that way anyway. I think I'm just not going to purchase fuel. I'm really pinching pennies here, though. It's only four echo per fuel that I'm saving. Is it really worth it? Hmm. I'll get... I'll get up to ten. Yeah. That should be good. Just gonna redock to force it to save the game, and... I think I'm going to end this episode here. And in the next episode, I'm going to head up to the Iron Republic, gather some cheap fuel there, make my way up to Fallen London, see what's going on there. And then from there, just keep going north and try to fulfill the two trade contracts that I have. The one for Zoop, which is worth 700 Echo, and the one for Muter Salt, which is worth 1,000. So assuming I can actually find some good suppliers up there, I should make a pretty good profit. Alright. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.